Welcome to the special edition of Events.com's Ask an Event Pro with me from New York Roadrunners, Mr. Peter Chacha. Hi, Bob. I got that right. You got that right. I love That's it. good. Now, how long have you been involved with New York Roadrunners? I've been there 15 years. I was, um, I was the technical director for about 12 of those 15 years, working with Mary Wittenberg. Right. You know, uh, over the years, and uh, just through uh, you know her recent departure, yes. have been moved into the president and, and of, of the event division and um, and uh, race director. So 60,000 members. 60,000. Uh, unbelievable. Now, how has the 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 organization changed over the last number of years? Well, I think the organization always had vision, and that mm -hmm. that's always primary, you know, what we're yeah. doing. But um, we're really, right now, we're very community-focused. Um, right. We've always had our roots in the community, but um, we're, we're elevating that tremendously. We have, um, with, with our programs, we have free running programs in the schools. Right. And, and many, many years ago, that started with somebody on a phone calling and, you know, asking uh, schools that didn't have a PE program, would you like us to come in and, you know, bring, bring some coaches in and show kids how to run? And right. that grew from, a, a, you know, a handful of schools to now we service about 200,000 kids. Really? And growing. So, you know, that's, that's, that's just one aspect of what we're doing. Um, we we um, are now, uh, we have a senior striders program, we call it the striders program, where we uh, get, uh, we go out, our teams go out uh -huh. into the various uh, senior centers. We get the seniors walking. Um, it's a, uh, it's very community focused right. at this time. We have free runs now, uh, three times a week approximately in various parks around the city, working with the city of New York and the Parks and Recreation Department. They're specific to certain parks on right. certain days, and it's free. And we just want to get, our, we want to inspire people to get healthy and fit through running and make it a low barrier, low barrier to, to entry. To entry. Yeah, and, yes. and that's what we're doing. So we're, we're really engaged with the, with the community. Obviously, people know you for New York City Marathon. Of course. Because it's you know, the, the greatest of them all. Right. So with the New York City Marathon, you you put on events, every, like you said, you're doing free runs during yeah. the week, you're doing events every single yeah. weekend. I mean, how do you coordinate all that? Well, we have a, we have a terrific team. You know, the, we ha the organization is about 170 full-time employees. Oh, wow. So we're, we're pretty big now, you know, and um, the teams are well-versed in, you know, event production and, you know, the logistics behind all of that. And, you know, we have various other teams, our marketing teams and uh, our media teams. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's what our passion is, and it's what we do and what we love, you right. know. And we want to get people healthy and moving. And, you know, we produce some other big events, like the uh, Airbnb Brooklyn Half is the biggest half marathon in the country. People so don't that, even know that. Yeah, that's, that's and uh, we have the uh, United Airlines New York City Half, which is another big, uh, you know, half marathon, you know, 20,000 plus. Sure. Um, and a lot of this we tie into uh, broadcast. We, we you know, ver yeah. very much uh, televise, televise our big events, um, the, the half and the, and the marathon. So um, there's a lot going on. You know, we've got a lot going on. <laughs> and were you a runner growing up? I was a runner growing up. I was, I was involved in athletics growing up. Okay. It was a way to keep our selves busy yes um and a way to back in the day you know that was the um uh you could either be uh, go with the bad group or the good group and it, you know so we we wound up uh in the neighborhood i grew up and lots of kids just grew up together and we were all into sports the police athletic league was our new york roadrunners back then so we we were all members of the police athletic league and we used to do uh organized sports uh you know yeah. winter summer sure. in the gyms out on a you know uh softball field yep. you know all of that so when you look at how the world of running has changed in the last number of years uh how how have you seen a change and how do we keep getting new people into our sport because obviously in this world of endurance entertainment, there's a lot of options for people. There is. And, but there's, you know, we, we want people to keep running. Options are good, though. You know, we, we, we um, actually applaud the, uh, you know, now, now we're seeing, uh, uh, you know, the wealth of 
alternative types yep. of runs, the color runs, the mud runs. Spartan race. These are, right, but yes. these are getting people out there and moving. The demographics are changing, right? Yes. There's, you know, especially with the color runs, you know, uh, it's, getting, it's getting people out there for the first time. So maybe somebody that goes out and does a, a color run 5K, never ran before, all of a sudden finds out that that experience really is leading to something, something. So, yes. you know, uh, we can't be afraid of that. You know, no, we, have we have to embrace, embrace that, that. embrace it. And, you know, utilizing now with the millennials, you know, the social media is, is a big part of what we do and how we speak to them and how we engage with them. So the most important thing is engagement and experience. You know, right. you engage them and you give the, give the, the best experience you can and you'll, you'll create that, you know, that returning customer and, and the growth, growth will happen. A lot of times people are very, people from, uh, you know, who've been around a while can be a little closed to new things, no, right? No. Social media, but it seems like you're one of those guys who embraces all of it. No, no, we we very much embrace it. And, you know, we have a great team at New York Road Owners that works on this. Right. You know, um, a, a department that actually works on it uh, um, uh, on a full-time basis, but but you, you have to. Uh, otherwise, you just, you know, you, you're going to be left behind. And, and we want to contribute to the growth of, of the of the sport right so we bring uh, you know on the professional side you know we bring pros into a number of our events our fifth avenue mile you know the, the marathon it allows us to you know obviously support the sport but the sport tells a bigger story and the biggest story is changes your life that's what the, it is the, the, it's, it's a great metamorphosis a great yeah. of a finish line yeah so when you are out there at new york city uh, marathon and it's an event, obviously every event, you're looking about the logistics, is the water in the right place, are the yeah. cones, everything else. Sometimes it's easy to forget how cathartic those events are and how they do change people's lives. Yeah. Where are you on race day and you get a chance to be at the finish line to, to walk, to capture those moments? So, so it's funny, this was the first year, this past marathon was the first year it's my first year as the race director. Yes. All the other years I was a technical director. So as a technical director, I was out behind the scenes after we started the race, making sure everything was going down the course. That was all in place. Mary, Mary would come down and, right. and take care of all the other, you know, ceremon mostly ceremonial, right. but, you know, as she got to the finish line, um, the media and all sure. of that. So my role switched now into, into the Mary role, and I have a, a new technical director, that Jim Hyam, who's wonderful and I've been working with for eight years, eight yeah, or nine yeah, years. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of that progression in, inside a good succession plan, right, for right. the organization. But this year, it, um, I got, the first time, uh, I got a chance to just stand at the finish line all day, just greeting greeting the runners coming in. And when I say all day, we stay there until the last runner comes in. Love that. And we find the last runner and we make sure that we're there to greet that last runner. It, it's really, it's really unbelievable. It, you walk, you walk away with like, the, still the hairs on the back of my neck yeah. go up every time I talk about it. I talk all the time about how the world of endurance changes lives for the better. Yeah. And, and all you need to do is get to a finish line right. and you'll see it. you see it. you see it. People are there, there. There's so many reasons why they're running. They're running for somebody. They're running for themselves. You know, uh, they've had so many reasons, so many stories. Um, but that accomplishment of coming through the finish yeah. line, it just it ceases to amaze me. You know, it just ceases. So, and have there been a couple of stories that stick out to you of people who, who've written to, to New York Roadrunners to, to thank you for changing their lives? I couldn't even, I couldn't even, there's so, <laughs> there's so many, many every there's year. so many, really, honestly, there's so many stories. Our teams go out and we, uh, when, as we're building up to the marathon, we, we send out, uh, you know, we'll, we'll uh, put a notice out. What are, what are your stories? Send your stories yes. in so that we can pick out a few and highlight them in the broadcast yeah. and highlight them. That's how we get. But there's a million more that are behind that. You know, we wish we could do that, tell them all, you know, but, uh, you know, there's so many stories. Sometimes I think when we watch running on TV, because everybody's running, you know, 430 pace, yeah. you don't really get a sense of how fast they're going, right? Unless they're running by me, you right. really don't know how fast they're going. Exactly. But what, what really captures imagination is those stories within the pack. How hard is it to tell those stories? Because you've got thousands of runners in front of them. I, I think we have a good, we've got it down to a science. Okay. You know, we, we, we know who we want uh, previous to the, to the event. Yes. We'll even do some, uh, some feature roll on them and roll it into the broadcast. Yes. But we have a whole system where we have motos that, uh, Motocam, cameras, yes. 
uh, that will wait for those runners. We'll identify them as they start and we'll follow them and then we'll talk to them along. Right. Of course, the big thing when you do this is you try to pay off the story. So you, you started the story about this person prior to the race, yes. you want to see them finish. You so, got to show know, a we, beginning, middle, right, and end, right? right? Which, is, which is what our teams really did work on. What's next? For New York Roadrunners, you know, I, I think we we have a we have a plan, a strategic plan in place. Um, uh, you know, we're we're uh, we're in our second year of a, a, a three three year plan mm -hmm. we put together. We're obviously we're developing, uh, you know, planning as we go along sure. for the next five years. But but again, the concentration right now is is widening the net and being able to cast that net on a wider basis in New York City. So we can pull more. There's eight million people in New York City. We want everybody running. So we have lots of. We're working with the city, really, very closely with the city on a few, um, programmatically, uh -huh. but also on some infrastructure yes. that we're going to be bringing in uh, into parks and onto the city streets eventually, hopefully, to get people to recognize that they're they're moving. We want to we want to see the city move, um, you know, and and as we as we do that, we we continually. Um, uh, you know, enhance our races and enhance the experience. Sure. So 60,000 members, if people who are watching want to become a, you don't have to live in New York, right? Anybody no, can become a member. No, 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 you can become a member. So there's lots of benefits to being a member. Just come on to the site, you get some information from us, you know, there's ways to share information sure. with us. So yeah, we encourage that, you know. Love it. Peter, thanks so much for taking time. Thank Congratulations you. on Thank everything you. you're you. doing. Thank you. New York Roadrunners. Peter Chacha has been our guest. Hold on, everyone. We will be right back. Hello everybody, this is Mike Riley, EVP of Global Sales here at Events.com and the voice of Iron Man. If I've called you an Iron Man, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter for more great tips on the greatest events.